Hey, hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to do the what's in my hospital bag video. I am currently 38 weeks pregnant. Baby could be here any day. I've already had some moments where I'm like, oh my gosh, she might be here today because I've had contractions and stuff, but I am still not due for another two weeks. Um, my doctor will probably be inducing me on my due date. Um, which is May 4th if I don't have her sooner than that. So we are very excited. We're very ready other than I haven't packed my hospital bag. So I have everything ready to go into my hospital bag, but I thought I'd film this before I actually packed it. So if you're curious to see what's going in my hospital bag, go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so the bag I'm using is actually, it's this one right here. Um, it has wheels. It's just like my go-to overnight bag. Um, this was actually my grandma's <laughs> and when she passed away, she, I inherited that. I love that it's just this like bright pink um, bag. It's super random. I don't even know where she got it to be honest, but it just really comes in handy because it has like a pull out handle so you can roll it if you want or you can just like use it as a duffel bag. So that's what I'm gonna be packing. It should work perfectly. Um, I have been keeping a note in my phone of like a list of everything that I wanna make sure to bring to the hospital. I am not an overpacker. I know I've watched a lot of these videos and everyone seems to be like claim they're an overpacker and like that's the excuse for why they're bringing so much stuff, but I'm not an overpacker. I, every time I go on a trip, I pack just to carry on, no matter how far, or how long I'm going, and I use everything in my bag. So for the most part, I think I'll be using everything in this um, bag that I'm packing. Um, but because I've never had a kid before, this is my first time having a baby in the hospital, um, I maybe, I'm bringing some things that I, I might not use, but I don't think I'm being excessive at all. So let's just jump right into it. So to start out, I have my toiletry bags. So I just have two here and in here, I, I don't know if I'll go through them, um, but basically I've got like chapsticks and um, I've got like medicine, um, toothbrushes for me and my husband. That's the only thing I'm packing for my husband, Eric, um, he can pack whatever he wants. Other than that, um, we live like 90 seconds away from our hospital. So we are going to be just fine if he needs to come home and get anything. I don't even know how much he'll pack. He might just come home and shower and stuff. So anyway, I've got all sorts of other, I have like a little travel razor, um, shampoo, conditioner, some lotion, Q-tips, um, just two bags of toiletries and skincare, contact solution. Um, I have this nipple butter. Um, this is like an organic one. It's Earth Mama Organics Nipple Butter. So I have that. I also have some mints in here just because I thought that might be nice. Um, I've got like two different, I have like Vaseline and Aquaphor. Um, for my lips because everyone says that um, your lips get super chapped when you're delivering and stuff. So anyway, I've got everything I need as far as toiletries go. Um, I think I'm going to want to shower uh, after I give birth. I don't know. Some people don't, I guess, but I feel like I'm going to really want to shower at the hospital. So I have those and then I am bringing... Um, I won't show this because I don't really have it packed yet because it's on my list of last minute things to grab before we go to the hospital. Um, it's just like a little tiny makeup bag and I'll have um, just a little concealer, mascara, blush, and an eyelash curler. And that should be it. Um, I also need to grab a brush and like a pick because I'll probably wash my hair, but I'm not going to like blow dry it or anything while I'm there. I'm just going to let it air dry. Probably put it in a, a bun or a... Uh, like braid or something. So 
Um, so that's toiletries and makeup. I'll also be bringing these um, flip flops. I just got these at Target. I think they were four or five bucks. Um, that will be for the shower or if I feel like walking around the hospital room without slippers on or you know, socks or whatever. So speaking of showering, I am bringing my own towel. This is just like an older towel that um, we have here at my house. Um, nothing special. It's just something from home that um, I think I'll enjoy having my own towel that's like a little thicker than I've heard the hospital towels are. So I'll have that. I am also bringing a blanket. This is our little R2-D2 blanket. Our baby is born, um, well, her due date is May the 4th. So um, we are big Star Wars fans. We didn't plan that. <laughs> it just happened that way and it's kind of awesome. So I'm bringing a blanket just for some comfort from home and um, also like a pillowcase and then I'll grab my pillow on the way out. Um, and this is just like an extra random pillowcase we have um, at our house. So if, you know, it gets dirty or whatever, it's not going to be a big deal. I am also bringing an eye mask. I like sleeping with an eye mask. I also have earplugs in here. I don't know if I'll use the earplugs, but I think I'll like using the eye mask. Um, so I'll probably take advantage of that. And that's for when I sleep, obviously, just in case there's like lights or anything in the hospital room that, I don't know, that I get bothered by so I'll have that okay and then as far as clothing goes for me while I'm in the hospital um, I have these two sleep bras I just got these on Amazon um, I am happy to link them below if you guys are curious um, it came in a pack of four and it was like 25 bucks or something less than $30 so I have like this one and then just in case that like gets dirty or anything I have another one just a black one and then I can wear one of them going home probably. So I have those. And then um, while I'm in the hospital, I'm thinking I'm gonna really just wanna be in like a comfy, comfy nightgown. So guys, I haven't been to Walmart in years. I just, I love Target, it's closer to me anyway. Um, but someone suggested to go to Walmart cause they had like cheaper ones, cheaper nightgowns. Um, I couldn't find anything I really liked at Target. Um, and so I went to Walmart and this was like 15 bucks. Um, it has the buttons for nursing. I tried it on. It's so comfy. It's not like, I mean, it's kind of, I don't know. It's not like something I would normally wear, but this with this robe I got off of Amazon, um, this robe was probably like, I think it was $25 too. Um, oh, that's not the robe. That's something else. <laughs> This robe, um, it goes just to my knees and it's like three quarter sleeve length, which is nice because sometimes if you wear robes that are long sleeve, they get like, when you wash your hands, it, you can get them all wet and stuff. But anyway, so this robe with this nightgown, you know, with a nice comfortable sleep bra underneath, I think will be really comfy while I'm in the hospital. And then other than that, I'm just planning on wearing the um, hospital gown. So that's if like I, um, you know, have visitors coming in and I was after maybe I shower or whatever and I just want more, something more like cozy, comfy, I don't know, presentable, then that's what I'll wear. Um, and if I end up having to stay there longer than, you know, a couple days, then my husband can just run home and grab another outfit for me. Um, if I need it, so I'm not too worried about that. And then I also got these from Walmart, these little slipper socks with the um, grips on the bottom. These were like five bucks. They're so comfy. And I just thought these would be so, so comfy to have at the hospital and they were five bucks. So when I'm done at the hospital, I'll just toss them. And then as far as my going home outfit, I, um, this is the one place where I feel like I, might not wear one of these outfits because um, I just don't know how I'm going to be feeling. Um, I brought my Lululemon Align leggings, which are so, so comfortable. Um, and they fit me right now, so I'm sure when my stomach goes down just a little bit, um, when I'm leaving the hospital, they'll be just 
plenty comfortable. And then with the leggings, I have this just comfy shirt um, and a little cardigan. It's not very cold right now, but I think I might ha like having a little cardigan, like long sweater to cover my leggings. Um, and then if that's not, if I'm not feeling the leggings, then I have this just big maxi dress. It's not big. It's just, you know, a long maxi dress. It's just black because I figure black is probably best for this um, situation that we're going to be in because I don't know how much I'm going to be bleeding or whatever. So I tend to gravitate towards all the darker clothes right now um, as I've been packing my bag. Oh, um, some other things for clothing. I have um, two nursing camis. So um, I might wear both of these. I might not. I might just wear one of them. I might not wear either of them because I have the nursing bras, but I thought these might be nice. Um, and these are good too. But they're just like from Target. Um, they're good because they're, the, they're a little tight around the belly. Like I wear them right now and they're fine, but um, I think that might feel nice and supportive around my belly. Um, and if I don't want anything around my belly after I give birth, then I'll just wear the nursing bras and I have heard all about the hospital mesh underwear but um if I don't feel like wearing that I did get a package of um depends so I have these um and I'll just be bringing two or three of those if I feel like wearing them so I'm also bringing a bag just a little garbage sack to store dirty clothes that I want to take home from the hospital. Okay, I also have um, this little folder that has all of our paperwork in it from my doctor and from the birthing class that we went to a couple months ago. Um, there's just some nifty like little handouts um, that might come in handy during labor, like it shows like labor posi positions and stuff. I know they can help us with that at the hospital, but I don't know, I just left them in the folder. They also gave us a packing list, which was super nice, which is how I, like, figured out what to pack for the hospital. Um, that and watching, like, a gazillion videos on YouTube. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys. Um, I got this uh, other nightgown. I went back today, actually, to Walmart and got another nightgown that was, like, 15 bucks, and this one zips down. So... I don't think I'm going to bring this to the hospital, but I think this is going to be amazing during postpartum and I think I'm going to wear it like even starting now just because it's so comfy. Um, so I got that. I just wanted to show you guys that. And then I also will be bringing um, these. My sister told me that she really liked having compression underwear <laughs> at the and I don't know if this is like something I'll wear at the hospital. I think I'm gonna bring one of these to the hospital just in case I'm not digging the mesh underwear or the depends. So I think I'm just gonna bring one of these. Um, it might feel nice to like have that like, compression feeling. Um, we'll see, I don't know. Okay, and then um, I have my boppy, so I'm definitely gonna bring that. Um, I've heard everyone says to bring a boppy. I feel like every video said to bring a boppy, like a nursing support, like supportive nursing pillow and chapstick, like everyone said, and like a robe. Those were like the top three <laughs> things everyone said you had to have at the hospital. All right, and then for baby, I know they're gonna have everything I need for baby there. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. I'm really not bringing a lot for her. <laughs> um, I will just be putting all of her stuff in this little, this is actually like a laundry um, bag that you wash like random like socks or whatever in it. Um, but like, so you put socks in here and put it in the washer so the socks don't get lost. That's what I was trying to say. But anyway, I'm going to put all of her stuff in here, I think, and just put it into my um, hospital bag. I'm not going to be bringing a diaper bag for her. I just, we're so close to the hospital and I know the hospital has everything and I want to take advantage of the hospital having everything. So I am just bringing her a few things. So um, while she's there, she'll probably just be in a blanket and a hat and her diaper. And that's kind of what I want her to be in. Like, I just want to have that like fresh baby skin. I don't 
need her to be in any like cute fancy clothes so I'm just bringing two outfits um, for like when she leaves with us and um, there's this one my sister-in-law got her this outfit and it's a newborn size and it has the little um, sleeve like hand covers so we won't need to bring mit mittens for that um, so that's one option and I also have this little and I'm not sure like what to have her wear on her head but either like a little hat or I thought this little um, uh, headband with the little rose was super cute um, and then I also have uh, this little nightgown um, my other sister-in-law got me or got her I should say and this is a zero to three months um, it also has the little hand covers which um, is great so those are like basically the only two outfits I'm bringing and the hat and the little bow can or little headband can go with either one of those outfits um, I also have this blanket that matches um, this nightgown so I'm gonna bring that and then I'm also bringing this swaddle this is just um, one of those what's the brand it's like tiny unicorn little unicorn um, we got this as a baby shower gift and I thought even just wrapping her up swaddling her up and um, putting this little bow I keep calling it a bow it's a rose it's a headband whatever I thought would be so stinking cute I don't know for like her first picture um, but I'm really fine if her first picture is just in like all the hospital um, blanket and hat and all that hospital stuff I'm fine if that's her first photo too but um, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to get her in like a little um, cute outfit or something um, but that's pretty much it as far as what I'm bringing for her um, I'm not bringing any pacifiers or diapers or anything because I know like my hospital has all of that stuff ready for us um, so I'm not gonna worry about it I am actually bringing um, someone mentioned in their hospital bag video that they brought one of the swaddle swaddle up um, swaddle blanket thingies whatever you want to call this thing um, they brought that to the hospital and they were really happy they did so I have one so thought why not I'll just bring this and see if we make use out of that because I'm really not bringing a lot so I thought I'll just toss that in there so I think that's pretty much it let me just double check my list oh of course the car seat um, and car seat cover we will be bringing and um, we might be bringing a nightlight. We haven't gotten one for her room yet. Um, so I'm not sure. We might bring a nightlight. We have a different nightlight we can use. We can just bring, because I've heard some people um, say that bringing a nightlight is a good idea. We are bringing, a, like, I'm going to bring lavender essential oil, because they do have diffusers at our hospital. Um, that's just in with my toiletries. Um, and I'll probably bring you know, a couple granola bars and some jerky just in case my husband or I, I guess, um, either one of us wants some snacks. <laughs> and then, um, I'm going to bring my AirPods, um, and my camera and all the camera stuff because we will be filming it, the birth, as much as we can. Um, I'll bring my long phone charger, like it's plugged in by my bed right now, but I'll bring that. This is all like on my list of things to grab before we get go to the hospital. Um, and then a water bottle. Um, I don't, I'm sure my hospital has water bottle, but I'm really picky with water bottles. So I might just bring mine just because I really like it. So, and that's pretty much it. You guys, if there is something that you are like, you totally need this. Um, like you got to have this at the hospital. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys because you guys are always so helpful when it comes to stuff like this. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I'm super excited. 
I'm glad I'm finally packing because this has just been, I don't know why, this has just been one of the harder things for me to just buckle down and do. Um, but yeah, we are ready. So we're super excited. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you're not already, make sure you're following me on Instagram because as soon as we go into labor, that's where we're going to be updating everyone. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.